last house in Molde. All of it should be here. A second bed. Olvida doesn't live alone. <clears throat> a spilt pail of water. Someone was in a hurry. Leave me be, warmonger! You have my sister! Is that not enough? Peace, boy. I'm not with these men. I came to speak with your sister, that's all. A day in Essex. Now here's a day riddled with strange portents and happenings. What is your name? I'm Ellerich, the man of this house. Who are you? And why have you come? I'm looking for your sister at the behest of another. Behest? We've got no money to speak of, and my sister is well past the marrying age. Do you know where they're holding Olvida? Yet another stay at the King's pleasure. The prison camp at Brentwood, far to the west. I'll bring her to the lake house north of there. Meet us there if you wish. If you promise you will find her, I will.
They're the last. We have this. Stay quiet. I'm here to free you. I do not work. My ankle. They were not gentle with me. Very true. Who are you? Who risked so much to save me? A friend. Of Elleridge's? Is he all right? The poor boy? Not your brother. Someone else who wishes to rekindle a, a friendship. Best brace my hood here. Hey, we sell to him. Who cares? You'll do. We are Mitch. Our Ikwane. Saints. Rest easy. Here you are, sister, safe and well. They beat me. Rest now. Soon you will be up and about again. Did they hurt you? Takes more than some cockshy milksops to break my will. Beating a boy after death for stealing bread. I'll not see it done. Growling bellies mean nothing to those pay swords. Ellerich, pay more mind to the world. It is cruel and dark for those who cannot stand up for themselves. Olvida, could we speak in private? He is a good boy. But without a father to guide him, he's grown softer than I'd hoped. I'm here at the request of Elderman Beerston. He wonders if you could love him again. Love him? Dear old Beerston, he remembers. He does. I've thought of him sometimes myself. But with my brother to fend for, I could not waste a life mooning. He has thought of nothing but you, Alvida. And with his wife, Estrid, returning to Frankia, he sent me to find you. How it would work between me and him? I'm a poor woman. Have been always. But the Alderman... Oh, God, help me! I'll give him a go. How could I not? Oh, bless. He'll come if you call. At the lighting of the bonfire, he'll ride here to meet you. Ellerich, come you and sit with us. 
I have something to say. My... my apple blossom girl. Is it really you? It is. Though crows have left their footfalls around my eyes. They still shine brightly, as when we were children. Has Eivor told you all? Aye, she has. And do you accept me, love? My heart feels like it will burst. And this young lad is Elrich, Olvida's brother. Hello, your... your... worshipfulness? I am Beerstan, nothing more or less. And you are a fine, strong lad of... how old? Nineteen summers. He's all the family I have, Bersten. If I'm to stay, you must welcome us both into your heart. We have one half of our bargain done, Bersten. I will return with news of the other. Does this mean we're leaving Malden? You are, my boy. To live with me in Colchester. Perhaps I can teach you the joy of the hunt. Before you go, Elleridge, I'd suggest a long, slow walk around the lake. I should leave them to their reunion. The next piece of this drama is the kidnap in Colchester. Dear Beerston, I cannot believe you would come for me after all these years. How are your people, Rolo? Recovered and ready for what tonight holds? Gerhild's treachery was a blow. Few were surprised it came to that, only that her dark ways took such a brutal turn. Put that aside. We're ready now. What would you have of us? Wait for my signal. When I approach Estrid... The... I am your axe, Eivor. Night will fall soon. Then is our moment to strike. I is... A man of the dance of Jadon's world. Barris is like honey, luscious and sweet. A night to get lost in the pure joy of life and a good harvest. Maybe soon the will is in the grave and will go to stay at what the will is. It's on the tea that is wise. Missing to Bella to weird tennis at his own unit. Fool a child with that howling. Unhand me, fiend! This is what we do to sex and god slaves. We oh. pillage. Pillage! Oh, 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 the sheer horror of it all! <laughs> oh. Stand down! 
on you, Saxon dogs. The Lady of Essex is ours. Unhand me, you filthy Dane. Bistan, my love, my love. Yet, what will they do with me now? It is done, and all that stands between me and my home now is a foaming ribbon of surf and silt. You did well, Rolo. You and your people. Are you ready to sail? Loki's hissing sun churns the waters between our coasts. We'll need time to rest as we wait for fairer weather. Have a care, then. We'll be looking for Estrid, even if Beerstens will not. Now's not the time for such worries, A4. Tonight, we celebrate! Let's get you some mead. Birstan will meet you northeast of Colchester tomorrow. You have earned all my husband promised, and more. Come find me, if you like, away from these reveling Danes. Thor's thunderous hammer! I should find Birstan. No doubt he's hunting again. A man, his dog, and the outdoors. Beerston, Estrid said you'd be here. Eivor, dear heart, you who drew back the bow of Eros and reunited me with my one true love. Have your thanes asked why you do not look for Estrid? Pish. They have asked, yes. I said it was hopeless. Then I lay upon my couch sobbing and wailing. A pretty show. That may not be enough. Tut tut. The wind is soft upon our faces, and I am far from the whispering doors of Colchester. Come, let's hunt! What are we hunting now? Boar! A majestic animal, don't you think? Driven by a fierce fire, blazing eyes, and sword tusks. I once knew a strong-armed shield maiden who rode a boar into battle. She named it Bristlebolt. How wondrously strange! Your tales are worthy of the hearing. We'll not ride our boars, but eat them. A feast in Alvida's honor. A feast for your mistress? Birsten, if this ruse falls apart, King Alfred will strip you of your title. Our alliance would be worthless. Have no fear, I shall be discreet. We will eat and sup at my hall with a few friends and family. It is there our friendship will be sealed. So soon after Lammas, will people there not recognize me? No, you are just one more day. And in that chaos, who remembers anything but the screams of dear Estrid? These are your lands, I trust in your judgment. And how is Olvida? She is a firebrand. We have rekindled our love as if we were teenagers. Even Ellerich is a welcome addition. A younger brother to me, yet more alike to a son. The things I should like to teach him. Ah, this is the spot. The best boar here.
bow arm aches. We did well, Eivor. A good hunt, Beston. And enough for one day, I think. Even my thanes will not go hungry with this catch. They may give you grief, but I've been nothing but amused. They are a welcome change to warring you. You have brought us all true happiness, Eivor. I... Beeston, the heart hound, who sought his true love by searching the sad haven of his memory and finding her there. Beautifully said, my friend. Beautifully said. Come, Percy, you hapless hound. Barely a boar worried. I do not... Home and hearth never used to stir the soul. Oh, Bearston. You promised we would never be apart. Not for one waking or sleeping moment. And already, you're sneaking out to hunt. <laughs> for the feast, sweetling. We owe our mutual friend a great debt. One that I promised to repay over suckling pig and ale. Sister, have you forgotten where you are? I have a right to happiness, Outreach. Or am I to play nursemaid forever, you ungrateful pup? Happiness, yes. But you embarrass yourself nightly, heaving and sweating with this hamhock. Hold your tongue, boy. Lest we both speak our truths. What truth have you to speak? That you've returned to this fickle man who abandoned you years ago for a Frankish pet? A woman he paid this dame to abduct in that Lamish shadow play? Mind yourself, boy. Or that you let him sniff and paw you, and take him to your bed on the promise of nothing? The whole of Essex whispers now. He's married still, his wife freshly stolen, and you are no more than... than his... I am the mother of his child, you whelp! Child? Alvida? Please, my boy, I... I... I will never forgive you for this. Never! <laughs> My lord, joyous news! God smiles upon us this very day! Estrid has been found by Alfred's men. They ride to her rescue as we speak. I will not let this plot be undone. Nothing is safe till they are away to Frankia. I will fix this, and one day I will call on you, and you will come. You can count on it, my friend. I wanted to tell you so many times. Rollo! Alfred's men have found you! What? How can this be? Lork, stand by Estrid. Guard her with your life. If she's taken... All is lost for us in this. Come, lady. It would not do for them to take you back. Watch out! Fuck! Hold it now! Release the woman, dude! If she's not armed, we may have some of your head! Here! Ah! Uh. 
God grant me strength! I promised I would free you of your life in Wessex. Frankia awaits your return. Go now, with Aegir's blessing. I will miss you, Eivor. When winter is past, summer will come and wind you in a flowered skirt. For you are beauty, and shall not wither. Goddess Freya, give me more of that. Come, take care of her, Rollo Stoutheart. And if you find yourself on England's shores again, I will expect you in my hall. Good. They're safe. But Bierston got his end of the bargain. And their street is to Frank here. I should return to Rantley. In Essex, I played a matchmaker and a heartbreaker. An easy way to forge an alliance, but... Let us stick to war and diplomacy. Understood. Thank you, Eivor. Uba Ragnarsson has come. He claims to have some business with you. Uber Ragnarsson, you are a long way from your king's side. Eivor. Yes, a long stroll through the hills and fields of Mercia. All so I could thank you. Thank me? For sending my brother to his just reward, in spite of the harm he caused you and everyone around you. I could not keep him in line in this life. But I have no doubt the old father will put him to good use in the next. A darkness followed your brother. One I'm not sure he understood. But as you say, he is now where he belongs. He is. And as a show of my thanks, I came to offer you a gift. A token of my respect. Thank you. Put it to good use, Wolfkist. And may we meet again soon. On a battlefield, if the fates are kind. Looks like I have a new letter. Want to see the Alliance map?
What transpires in Gloucestershire? You may have noticed that Gunnar has disappeared from his forge. He has traveled to Gloucestershire in search of a wife. A wife? He is in love. When did this happen? When doesn't this happen with our dear, lovelorn blacksmith? But there is a bright side. He has asked you to join him. Join his search for a wife? And see that he does not make a fool of himself. I believe he thinks that your presence would bolster his image. All right, I'll be Gunnar's keeper, if only to bring him back in one piece. Very generous of you. Make for the town of Gloucester. You will find him there. There you are, Gunnar. And with a smile like I haven't seen in some time. Eivor! Thought I smelt you under wind. Gunnar, with the speed you left home, I thought you'd been carried off by Valkyries. I have. This Valkyrie right here, Bridget, my own heart's root. Meet Aver. It takes a rare woman to nail down our Gunnar. Lavendine da, with my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. So, is the wedding here? When you spoke of a marriage feast, Gunnar, I hoped it would be at home. No, no, no. We're here for the festival and blessings. Bridget's hand must be given. You know me, Eivor. I'm forged in honor. Whose blessing? I see no pitchfork shaking father or weeping mother. <laughs> Glauachistus elderman, Kunan. He helped raise Briggs and she was a pup. Have you uh, a family, Bridget? That mom and dad carried Evan Gilly than Anon. Conan helped Drews me. Bridget man power the last high priestess and elderman. They since passed on. But the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Tim Jolch, you two bags of air seek a gumpas gillu. A tavor gal, cleese sound. Right, no daylight to waste then, eh? So the elder man may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years to come. <clears throat> and the Mercians here are not unsettled by lurking Vikinger? They come from all over to celebrate Samhain. Most are too busy with the festivities to pay us mine. Samhain? Is that what these carved roots are for? This tradition? Aye. Faces cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let us bring a few back. There is the elder man. Kunan! A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah. Then let's introduce you to Tevdur. Hands as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place. And he'll be elderman after Kunan. Tevdur, this is Eivor, my chieftain. Ah, uh, yes. The way Gunnar speaks, I expected, uh... Need to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick, the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. 
Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? The way people here talk, Kunin's boots will be hard to fill. And your feet look small. <laughs> All good friendships often start with wit battles. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated godright kings for puppet rulers? So-called puppet kings keep your lands safe and your bellies full. I ask no thanks. Only hospitality. Apples! Eivor, wait until you try the cider. You you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? Uh, ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last sowing. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder! As your Harvest King, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry! So, you've come to meet the family, before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man. He speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then... By my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. Aye, Tefter? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm? God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go! May you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. <clears throat> well, shall we then? Sowen. <laughs> Kunon humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am Elderman. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. The festival brings warmth and cheer. God's light does not dim as the nights chill, but the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around, it lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the Reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews, and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Not false idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we not going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Kenom your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Low in a mead of kine under a thorn, Lieth poor Kenhelm, kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? Aye. Look, the path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You are a kinder man than the mask you wear. But you won't be rid of me. I will keep my word to Kunan for your safe return. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? To humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. 
Please, Eivor, I must pray. Should I watch or turn my back? Oh, Lord, gift upon this lowly servant your greatest gift. Patience. I will not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Tefter. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hair? Tefter, get to safety. Find somewhere to hide. Where did they come from? Thank you for saving my life. It's good I was here to protect you. Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Splude. Cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrine is in their territory. Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester. Unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kunan... Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one. Find me at the festivities. Eivor, there you are. Here I am. So, what adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tefter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful. We were accosted by a group of boars. Odd, but path and I usually serve. To the Brivo. But you saved his hide. I bet it was quite the sight, two of you as a pair. How did Tefter become Kunan's successor? He speaks with his god's fire, but I do not quite believe it. I watched the Egloi's father as Harden call on Tefter. He believes what Vanade's going to do. Hmm, tragic that is. But I think the lad can still be molded, Aver. You might be just the one to do that. I need a drink. Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. Skull. Skull. So, you invited me. What mischief is this? Negriskal Anvala spread you on and creatures of the veil. The bag for treats. Glowachester gives their glut to otherworldly visitors, and if you dress as one, you'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given? Huh. I've only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, braying for sweets and drink. It's hardly a disguise. Just a cloak and some bones. Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Louvre. Now, let's hooden. Become the Mary Louvre, the spirit who sings for cake and ale. And you cannot have your clothes. Gunner, if no one else... Treat or treat! What business have you? Oh, the Mary Lewid. Right, right. We're doing cakes instead of beer this year. Sowing night and the moon is high, Mary Lewid haunts my door. Give me sweets and candied treats, the kind I most adore. <laughs> Here then, sweets for the Mari Luid. You've earned it. Oh. Are you playing the rear? Can tricks the spirits see? The eye holes in this mask are terrible. All it takes is a mask. Are you 
ready to rhyme with me? Down the road, from my abode, there is an open veil. Hope to God this Mary Lewitt doesn't fail. Ah, oh, have a cake for your troubles then. <laughs> Ah, lads getting into their cops, scaring the wee ones. Eivor, mighty warrior, knocker of doors, victor of cakes. How does it feel to pillage what is freely given? A worthy haul, and a tradition worth keeping up. Come to rhyme with you. In the gloaming, see her roaming hidden neath the hood. To its dwelling, face foretelling, it's the Mary Louis. Well done. <laughs> Look at these cakes, sweet as honey, gonna. You should see this! Oh. Gunnar! So Damn dessert. You are either fearless or stupid boy to speak to someone of the Raven Clan this way. Fitting name for scavengers! Winged rats! Take him what isn't yours! I'll pick out your eyes and feed them to your god. Yeah. Let him go. We can hood him more. <laughs> you seem to want your nose broken, so let me oblige. Christ, I'm tall. Suffer! It's you lot we should be burning alive! Are you sure you don't want to stay in Glowerchester? They know how to have fun. children about. I don't answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher, I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from your face. Mind your tongue. Let's see that leg, then. It's nothing. Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of wounds. To look us. Modron's a compass to patch this land. Your aid is welcome. Men drown themselves in ale on Selim. But I fear for the fragile peace when Tevder becomes Elderman. With Dina Fall, regardless of who said poor, 
That man called you a witch. I lead those who follow the old ways in Gloucestershire. But I offer my healing services on both sides of the river. Gwenith, my love, go back to the house and bring me the garlic salve. And the worms? Are we cleaning or cutting, mother? Yes, grab the worms just to be safe. Now go, child. I promise not to cut it off before your return. I give me strength. A man modern is known I'm a humor towish good run. I'm glad you're all finding my mortal injury so funny. Go, Aver. Make Marion try to loosen Tevter's shoulders. Modron, you don't have to save his leg. I will understand. That limb will be fine. But no medicine in England will stop the dribble from his mouth. I do not work miracles. Eivor! There you are! Tevter. You're well met. Gwilym here has challenged my honor in a contest of drinks. Join us. The lab will be easy pickings. Give me a cup. Some ale, then. One for me as well. For shaveling of the Christ Lord, you have a lot of scars, Gwilym. Not every tonsured man is a wet ear, Abbey babe. I came to God after I had scarred my soul with sin. To holy hearths and humid dyes. It is the best drunkenness returns a man to royal reason. Skull! <laughs> this merriment feeds my soul. Here, another drink on me for allies new and old. Of all the Eldermen I've met, you're the most unburdened. What is your secret? None. It is well known. The burdens I carry will soon leave this world with me. So drink to my life and death. Death? I am to be sacrificed in the Wicker Man as King of the Harvest. Like Elderman Simkin before me, and all before him. Horrible barbaric practice. A burnt offering after poor crops. They hope well-fed gods will smile upon them. Your people are loyal to you, Kunan. Seems a waste to throw your life away. Their loyalty would falter if I shirked my duties. I will die glorious in flame, not live to further choke my homeland. A toast, then. To Eldam and Coonan, joyous and generous. Let each man show him loyalty until he suffers death. My friends, you are kind to me. I'd like to toast my successor, Tevder. May he wear the horns head high. What 
is this? Water? I feel like Thor chugging oceans. No effect to my head or step. <laughs> you heard the man. Give him something stronger. <laughs> This'll work faster than any tonic. Good. Give me visions of all creatures that roam these hills. And the sore head tomorrow to pay for it. Wow, that tastes awful. It feels good, though. Eivor, speak true. My feelings be damned. I have been an ass. Do not deny it. And I, for that, I am sorry. A colossal horse's ass. Yes. Soft words from the heartless heathen. Only fiercer than fire among ill friends. I can be very as nice as a spring gale. <laughs> and how nice is that? Tefta, with Gunnar and Bridget's marriage, our clans will unite. But we could join by oath as well. Oh, yes. My first ally as Elderman. I accept. We shall make an oath. How do we start? Yeah. The greatest, greatest, greatest union. To the oath. The treaty. The greatest. <laughs> People are sleeping. More ale to seal our friendship. <laughs> this way, this way. Look out for the black sow. Sow? Like pig? Flaming pig. Chases you home at night. <clears throat> silly words to scare silly children. <sighs> You see magic as the stuff of children's dreams. Perhaps I judge too much. Proves I half believe. Foolishness sometimes takes my tongue. I have to piss. Uh, a great blackness chases stars across the sky in great whirls of color and light. Whoosh! Here we are. Right inside here. Tefter! Tefter! Hell's breath. What happened last night? Ugh. And the effects of that draft still cling. Tefter! Are you here? Tefter's bodyguard. Killed by knife. This part has been broken, and it's covered in blood. A weapon, maybe. Blood. Could be Tefter's, if he was the heavy thing being dragged.
muddy footprints. Someone was hiding back here. What's happened here? Open this door! Come out of there! Willem's pouch. I wonder if it still has its little something stronger. But why is it here? Better hold on to it. So, what does this lead to? The murderers hid here, lying in wait while we approached outside. They jumped from the shadows to kill the bodyguards. And to disable Tefer. Then they dragged him away. That accounts for everything. Except Gwilym's pouch of herbs. I'm still unbalanced by Gwilym's special something. Maybe Mother Modron will know the contents. What is the meaning of this? Blood soaking our soil, and your weapon coated in the same! Kunan, please. More has happened here than you can see. Give me a right to parley my innocence. I should have heeded Tevder's misgivings about heathen party guests, and now he has paid with his life. With Tevder gone, Glowichester will be without an elderman. Eye for an eye, your Raven clan will lose their chieftain! Get the murderer! Come to trade barbs for cake and ale. It's past the little ones' bedtimes, and I want to retire. Take your cake and go. There's Modern up ahead. Hello again. Mother, it's the friend of the mangled leg man. Eivor, you remember? Indeed. It's a surprise to see you. Is everything quite all right? No, it's not. I awoke in Tefter's wrecked home. Blood, but no body. Kunan's men are after me for the lad's murder. Mother, can I see? Blood, but no body? We must see what has happened to him. Do you recognize the contents of this pouch? A very unusual blend. There is a druid who uses this mix to aid sleep. A monk called Gwillem poured some of it into my drink last night. The effects were intense. Search the houses! Cardigan fire! They're coming for you. If they know I've aided you, it'll be my head next. Can you... I've seen nothing and no one. Mother, if the stranger wants more of the herbs, they can talk to the druid Halewyn. Yes. Halewin's cabin is on a lake, near where the Cherwell and Great Ouse rivers meet. But he is a strange fish. Rarely does he speak to mortals, preferring the company of spirits. Now, I have business at Rollandrich. Find me there later. <laughs> 